What's happening, everyone? Jay Shockblast here. We are back, and we are still on Monarch, and we have switched over to a Family Matter quest. Do not want to go in there. Uh, so we have to look for Tucker Needham and Amber Heights. This is why I prefer spaceships and clean recycled air. And then we should be able to try to finish off the Monarch quest. Um, but I figured, let's just leave it clean, you know? Now, I haven't been to Amber Heights, so I don't know what to expect up here. This is a new location. Seem to be... I don't know, they seem to be campers. All right, so let's uh, go into Amber Heights. All right. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose, please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry, I keep forgetting, we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Oh, you've heard Graham's teachings. I'm so glad. He and Zora have done such a wonderful job spreading the light around this dark, dark planet. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Thor is sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. All right. So we covered a lot there. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. What a fun All right, let's uh, start pilfering. Whoa.
I really don't care what it says. I just, uh, you know, if there's any useful information that can be passed on so that the system knows that I read it, that's all I'm really looking for. Agitator. Yeah, these do not look like the type of people we want to mess with. I mean, they look like they have their stuff together. Sleeping. I can probably talk my way out of anything. You never know when you're going to find something weird and crazy. Brews this way. Uh, I don't really care about any of that. A manta queen. Yeah, we felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? Stop. No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. I realize the board has blockaded our efforts, but Devil's Peak is an interplanetary radio tower. Surely somebody is listening. Surely. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now is the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Might actually have better reach. People read that stuff all over the system, even in Byzantium. You see, citizens of Halcyon are glued to their periodicals. Even I find myself occasionally distracted by their positively shameful quality of editing and unacceptable disregard for grammatical structure. My literary prowess will hook them and the eternal truth will reel them in. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like one of Sanjar's fishermen. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. 
Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so tone-deaf. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. All right. All right, well, that gave me some information. He does not really seem to agree with Zora, who is no longer here. Um, I do want to talk to Zora before we go too far. There she is. What? Oh. Uh, all right, so let's go find this kid. I think he's this way. Seems like it should be pretty easy for... Oh, there's Huxley. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. Oh, in Milton's place? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Me and my diary have got some catching up to do. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg foot area where does my foot end and my leg begin wherever that is it hurts i'd offer to take a look but you should milk that for as much r and r as you can get oh yeah good thinking maybe once it's all healed up i'll go find that rock again so no runs for me for a little while time to kick back and relax <laughs> huh why Oh, ha, you're funny. All right. All right, there's Ash. That is not what I was expecting. He is not a kid. You ever seen you before? Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. 
Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Stood at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar, I drink, I mind my own business. That's it. Whoever said that must have been lying. Or maybe they was drunk. I don't know nothing a dozen better folk couldn't tell you. Look, you wanna buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. I can't repay no kindnesses now. All right, so, I reckon one of the most interesting places I've been is the hot pole. You know what that is? Exactly. This moon ain't big enough to rotate. It's locked. One side always facing Olympus, the other always facing away. Olympus might not be a star, but it throws off ass loads of heat. Monarch's hot pole is the part that's closest to the gas giant. It's in the middle of this big mountain plateau. Volcanoes so high, the peaks are in space. O2 breathers. The heat from Olympus is worse, though. Close your eyes, you can see rays bursting through your eyeballs. Little streaks of light. The funny thing is, dead in the middle, there's just smooth rock. Circular light. All the dust blown away. Pale gray with hair fine cracks all over it. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was lightheaded from the O2. But I felt like I had to take off the breather for a moment. Put my ear to the ground. I did get a burn on the low before I smartened up. Put a towel under me. It was at the edge of hearing, deep down, far off, irregular. Tap, 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 tap. The sound of a bird pecking out of a shell. <laughs> I don't like to tell that one sober. Get the shake something fierce. When there's a ground quake now, I hold my breath. Because I don't know if it's Olympus squeezing us for gravity, the wings getting stretched. A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Mostly, we protected folk from the beasts here. If it spat, scratched, or stung, we'd kill it for you. So long as you had the bits. We split ways around the time this twice-fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. Thereabouts? I'll be glad for it, but I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. Appreciate it, kid. I'm marking now posts on your map. You spent a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. All right, I remember finding that. I didn't really realize he was gonna talk so long. And I thought that was the kid I was looking for. Who I can't seem to find. Nothing good. All right, let's get out of here. Thought for sure that was the dude. Ooh. 
Ooh. I actually jumped. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Must be a trap. So where the heck is this kid? Oh, I didn't go in this room. There he is, Tucker. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? You here to join the iconoclasts? Help us free this world? <laughs> I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Vantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. I feel you. Show up with a bottle of vodka and some real good cusses. That'll show her how much you've grown. Then she'll think they brainwashed me into some kind of hooligan. As far as she's concerned, if I make any decision that's not aligned with hers, someone else convinced me. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. All right. All right, what is my science hat anyway? Uh, science. Oh, I'm only five away. I wonder if I have any uh, equipment that gives me a plus two tech. Nice. That is why I keep all those around. Haha. <laughs> so remember when I was getting shocked over here? Not anymore. Go talk to the bartender now. Oh, my stomach. You meditate today? If not, all right. Well. It's not what we're here for anyway. All right. All right, so we gotta go all the way over to there. So might as well, wait, no, that's where we are. Wait, no, that's where it wants, no, that's where we are. Where does it want us to go? Pretty press rollers. All right, let's just get out of here. Thing is, it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like sulfur all 
Ah, crazy town. Never change. Ah, that is where it wants me to go. All right, we'll just walk there, I guess. Later, buddy. How about that? How about it? All right, let's just keep going. I don't care. I really don't need any of this stuff. It's just like the... I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but it's just like the habit of it. You know? You just kind of get used to it. It's kind of like when I like break things in Lego games. just like that. What? Terrence Ruins. I feel like this is where I was supposed to go to check on his buddies. store sealed huh. something up this way oh seems to be a nice person hello Niles hey, I know you boss says you've been real helpful like but, uh, we got this handled. We appreciate, but do not require your assistance. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. Soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. Huh. I don't know what your angle is, but... All right. Be sure to tell her how hard it was to fix the generator. You know, after you're done fixing it. That is how we are going to keep the peace between everybody.
making it look easy. Oh no. Look out! What? I guess that's the first time I've ever died. Uh, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> God, I hope I don't have to go that far back. Okay. All right, that wasn't so bad. Let's go talk to her first. It's too quiet. What are you up to out there? Hello? Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Who are you anyway? Doesn't say steel, so let's look around before talking to her. I think I'm encumbered, but it's okay, I can fast travel still. And there's a vending machine right here. should do. All right, let's talk to this ooh, crazy lady. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and whatsits, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look. Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. All right. I think this, <laughs> that is the first time I've died in this game. I'm really mad about it now. Um, I think this is just to like kill all the, the troops. So let's go back in here. I still want to like do it, you know, like I think I got points for it, right?
and we'll just do that. We just won't vent the gas. I didn't get any XP for that, so what's the point of doing it? All right, so let's just go to the map. Let's just fast travel back to him. I can't believe I died. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Vanoys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The hell's the sense in recruiting if you're just gonna get them killed? I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Yes, you're damn right he could have, but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, the feeling will need them. All right. So let's go ahead and level ourselves up here. I'm gonna put myself to 55 on that. That's what we're gonna do this time. We got a perk. We're just gonna do some carrying capacity. That's the most important. All right, cool. So we have to try to prevent the civil war. That's my goal. And uh, that's another part down. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see.